All right, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to send your Bitcoin NFTs to Ethereum to sell them on OpenSea. So the way we do this is we're going to use something called M1 vaults. So now what an M1 vault is, is essentially an NFT on Ethereum that can contain other NFTs from different chains. So think about it as like a box that you can put your Bitcoin NFT inside of that someone else could break open and take your NFT with. And you can sell the box itself rather than the NFT directly. This way you can bridge it across different chains. So in order to do this, make sure you have your counterparty wallet ready and make sure you're on emblem.finance and then go to create. So then connect your MetaMask wallet and this is gonna be the wallet that you're gonna sell your NFT on and make sure your antler address and make sure this is public. Then you're gonna hit next. Then you're gonna have vault name and vault description and all of these details are gonna match the NFT that you're gonna sell. So the way I do it is I go to the website and I click view on OpenSea and that'll bring me here and I'll find a listing that has all the details that I need. And I can just copy everything which is what you should do. That way everything is standardized. So just copy them here and copy the description. That way everything's identical and make sure you don't copy everything past this point where it says view contents because all of that will be auto-generated by Emblem. So then go to next. And then for the image file, if it's a GIF like I, like it is here, right click, copy image address, and then go to embed URL and put that in there. So that'll pop up. So this will be the basically the front end to your vault, and this is what people will see on OpenSea. So then you're gonna hit create vault. So notice it says creating a vault spends 15 Coval from your wallet. What this means is that you're gonna essentially need a token called Coval, and it's really, really cheap, pretty easy to get. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to circuitsofvalue.com, click buy Coval, and it'll bring you to a Uniswap page. And what I would do is I would just buy like 100 Coval at once, if you're gonna do this multiple times. It's only like a dollar. I just go ahead and do it real quick, because you're gonna pay the gas fee anyway, and just get yourself some Coval. It's pretty simple. So once you do that, you're gonna hit create vault and it'll bring you to a page that looks something like this. So this is essentially the front end to your vault and you're gonna send your NFT within here. So you see right now it says vault state is empty. That means there's nothing inside of it. And we're gonna put our NFT in this vault. So we're gonna click deposit addresses and we're gonna to go to Bitcoin, click it, and we're gonna copy this address. We're gonna to go to our wallet, click the card we wanna send, which is the same card here. Click send, receive your address, send amount one, make sure it's the same address then hit send. Now I've already sent it, but you're, you're just gonna hit send and you're gonna wait like 15 to 20 minutes for your NFT to send. And then you'll see it inside of this vault. And I'll show you what it looks like in a second. All right, so now if you look inside balances and attributes, we can see that the NFT is inside the vault. So we hit view NFT, we come here and we can see that it's a legit NFT. And now we're pretty much done. What we need to do now is mint the vault so we can sell it on OpenSea or do whatever we, we want with it. So you're gonna hit mint vault and it's gonna make you sign something. That's fine, just hit sign. And then you're gonna have to wait a couple seconds, maybe a minute, and you're just essentially gonna get a pop-up that'll tell you to actually mint it. All right, so the pop-up is gonna look something like this, where you're gonna have to play a small gas fee to actually mint the vault. Go ahead and click confirm, make sure it's the right address and everything. And you can check the on the Explorer, where we go here. And you can see the actual NFT is minting. So then you can go to OpenSea real quick, go to your profile, click activity, and once NFT is minted, you'll see it in your activity bar. So notice it said mint of a um, um, vault. It's in my, and it took my Coval. Remember when I said you needed 15 Coval? We're done. So now if you refresh in OpenSea, you're gonna see a new NFT, and it's gonna see, be the end of the vault. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna refresh the metadata on this vault. So you're gonna click refresh metadata, and you're gonna wait around five minutes or so. All right, so after you mint the vault and you refresh your metadata, this is what it's gonna look like. It'll have all the matching details that you put in the vault. And anyone who buys this vault, if you were to sell it or whatever, would get access to the NFT under it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll put all the relevant links in the description. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment. But what I recommend doing is if you have any issues that you need to be solved quickly, you just go ask around in the Telegram. There's some helpful people there. All right, so that's pretty much it. Feel free to sell it, do whatever, hold it forever. It's up to you. Peace out.